And welcome back inside Dana J. Dykehouse Stadium in Brookings. Beautiful afternoon for the marker between North Dakota State and South Dakota State. Full house here, first sellout at the stadium since it opened four years ago. More than 19,000 on hand, 19,300 is a sellout. And they have done it here with the Bison in town, the number one team in the country, Jabori Gibbs and South Dakota State our number three in the nation right now. Tom Neiman will put some points on the board. A couple of South Dakota kids at the defensive end spots for North Dakota State. Jabori Gibbs, a little bit of room on first down though, and he's gonna pick up 10, maybe 11 yards as he steps out. And a flag comes in after the play over on the Bison sideline. With an injury after the opener at Minnesota, but has come back and played all three of the Valley games so far. The Jacks are 3-0 with him throwing the football, and he's got Kate Johnson who hangs on for the grab inside the 15-yard line. 29-yard attempt, and this distance has been a little iffy for Vinatieri, but he drives that straight through, and South Dakota State takes the opening possession and gets the field goal. They will keep it on the ground. Lance, redshirt freshman from Marshall, Minnesota, and he does fake to Brooks, keeper for Trey Lance, taken down by Preston Tetzloff and Christian Roseboom. But just as Gibbs did at the other end, that's an 11-yard gain on the first play for North Dakota State. On third and seven, got to get the 40 again for a first down. Pocket holds up. Lance had to get rid of it and does so. First down inside the 30, inside the 25. And the catch made there by Zach Mathis. Ty Brooks alongside Lance. And a reverser, they got Christian Watson coming back. He wants to throw. That's touchdown. There's a flag down right at the goal line. This one's coming back for offensive pass interference, Tom. Interference, offense, number 82. 15 yard penalty for the previous But the tight end. Yeah, Ellison made the catch, but the call was against him. Bison have struggled to put points on the board when the opportunity presented itself a week ago and they've come up short here again today. Ben Brookings was the backdrop for ESPN College game day this morning. Sold out crowd here at Dana J. Dykow Stadium. South Coast State from its own 26. Cade Johnson the catch and then the move afterwards and takes it all the way down. Gibbs to Yankee. Slant good. 38-yard line, first down Jackrabbits. When Jabori Gibbs was injured in the second and third games of the season, third and eight, and they're going to let Cannon Nelson put it on the ground, and he picks up the first down. He's inside the 25. Yep, it's been five games since we've seen Cannon Nelson, but Pierre Strong's got a little room, cuts inside, inside the 15, still going, knocked down at the 9-yard line. First and goal from there for the Jackrabbits. Knocks it through, but... Straight ahead to Ty Brooks, first down. Riding behind Cordell Volson, the right tackle. Third and 12 for Trey Lance. Jacks rush three. Lance, beautiful throw, got it just over the safety's hands. Chase Norblade came over. Great throw by Lance, and now a flag on the sideline. After the play, personal foul. Laid it out of bounds. Peak defense number seven. 15 yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Dimitri Williams got room, gets by the safety grip and just does bring him down. Feet for this third down. Give to Kaporis. Stretching it out, he's inside the 10-yard line, steps out at about the 5. Bison converts, set themselves up in first and goal. Griffin Krosa. From 22 yards is good. He missed his last three, but Krosa knocks that through. And he is still averaging about eight yards a carry. Not this afternoon, but coming into the football game he was. Jacks with Cade Johnson. Gets a block there from Sellers. 
Jax with a little razzle-dazzle to get it out to the 46-yard line. Cade Johnson first down to the 42-yard line. Another good throw by Cannon Nelson. Yeah, that is the Missouri Valley Defensive Player of the Year last year, Jabril Cox for the Bison. Mikey Daniel on his first carry of the game, and that's 10 plus and a jackrabbit first down. From 33 yards out. No good this time. That'll do it for the first half. Quarterback's pretty clean. Jacks had one sack on Lance in that first half. Same thing for the Bison LaRue. This time, and this is the big play of the game. There goes Ty Brooks for the first touchdown of the afternoon. Cannon Nelson to throw on first down, and he's got a man coming, and he goes down, and the football is loose. Two Bison laying on top of it. Coming away with a football for North Dakota State is Matt Bigler. Lance out of the play action. Ben Ellefson, touchdown as Levi Brown got sucked inside. <laughs> Playing that tight end in man coverage, just enough room for them to get the touchdown. North Dakota State's done this quite a bit in the last couple of games, at least James Hendricks on the two-point attempt, but the Jacks hold him out. The Jackrabbit starting quarterback injured in the first half. He's on the sideline with his right knee heavily wrapped up. A little room down the sideline, though, for Pierre Strong, Jr. Mark him out at the 49-yard line. He's been in this program for three years now. And nifty oh. move by Pierre Strong, Jr. He gets outside of Hankey. Makes one more move. First down inside the 30. Steps out at the 26-yard line. 40-yard attempt for Vinatieri. Knocks it through, so Vinny is 3 of 4 in the afternoon. Jacks, by the way, have gone to Keaton Heidi at quarterback. This is the freshman. Pierre Strong Jr., strong run up. He's shy of the 29-yard line. In some mop-up duty. And now he's getting his chance. Third and about a yard and a half. Mikey Daniels got the first down. Turns around Bridges. Across midfield for the hometown boy, Mikey Daniel and the Jacks into Bison territory. Opportunity to win this game. Second and short, Heidi. Taken down, but not until he gets to about the 12-yard line. Jackrabbit first down. On the fade. Jacks have only completed five passes all day. He's got to get rid of it here. Heidi got a man inside the five. And there is the tight end. That's Cal Hart. By the big tight end of picking that one up off the deck. Third and a yard. Heidi is going to walk into the end zone to get South Dakota State within a point. Data J. Dykow Stadium is back alive, folks, in case you didn't notice. Lance goes under center. Uh -huh. Williams wants to throw, but he got blown up, and this is going to be picked off just outside the 30-yard line. Levi Brown with the interception. Jackson Yankee out here to the right of Keaton Heidi on third and nine. Bison coming intercepted at the 15-yard line. That is Josh Hayes, the corner, who was just standing there waiting for it. Cofield coming across. He will get the carry. Preston Tetzloff hit him, and he is knocked down short of the first down by about a half a yard. 
on fourth and a foot. Give to Cofield, first down, and he might bust the big one. Seventy yards and the score for Cofield to put the Bison back in front. Heidi's got to get rid of it because Tuska is going to bury him back at the 17 yard line for South Dakota State. Bison to spread out that front four come after Heidi again there is Tuska again all four Bison front four in on the Jackrabbit quarterback and it is fourth and forever with a minute 45 to go South Coast State's got to get the 35 yard line for a first down Tuska's coming again Jack's gonna run a little razzle but not enough dazzle 30 yard line and that is gonna sew it up NDSU Keeps it rolling. The marker will stay in the hands of the Bison, and that'll do it. 23-16 final. A tremendous football game that ultimately resulted in a win for the team that just made one or two more plays than the other.